Welcome everyone to today's video. My name is Dimitri Dimitrov from the Dimitrov Boulet Piano Duo. And in today's video, I'm going to do something different, or at least I'm going to try to do something different. As you can see, I have my computer in front of me and that means composing time. Yes, um, a lot of you love my music, which I'm so grateful for. And of course it gives me great enthusiasm to, to keep composing. I never recorded the video and I thought that would be perhaps interesting to record a video of me composing a piece because I also got people asking what's your process, how do you do that? I honestly don't know how I do that, it's just, it just happens. I sit behind the piano and I'm very consistent and I, I compose on a regular basis and I have no idea what it would be like composing with someone looking up my nose so we have to see if that's going to work at all. So let's see what are we in the mood for today. Keep in mind that r composing with somebody actually really looking at you while composing is something very, it's a very intimate process. Re composing music, like writing something or I don't know what it is or somebody watching you draw or paint or I don't know, it's, it's a very, very special process. And so I have no idea if that's going to work out. I guess also it's necessary experience to do that a lot. But let's get started. Maybe we can start with that. We have just something. Now I have no idea what the rhythm of this would be. Something like this. And then we have to see what we come with the next. didn't put the, the key signature, I have no idea, but that, that's gonna come later. what's going to come after it's because that gives a certain mood right away from the beginning.
that that's that's very easy to do because it, it's just yeah it's just easy but if you introduce that same thing without the F-flat you have the F-flat here and if you do it without the F-flat right? but you can also Kilvira watch prefers A flat or no A flat? A flat. A flat. Then we go with A flat. That's the fun of it. I don't know if I want to go in that direction, but it happened. Now it's in my ears, and uh, it's uh, hard to let go of that. That's also one of the things with composing. You you come up with an idea, and then. Um, I kind of don't want to deviate from it. It's it's terrible. Let's keep it simple. Let's not complicate it. I create something uh, that is just something. Now the problem with this is that the more times, because also there is a camera and because also I keep on repeating it, I start doubting in the, um, in the music. I start thinking that it's not good. Start, and this is something very normal. You know, a lot of you would go through the same process when they're practicing piano, that you feel that you're not making progress, that it sounds bad, that it sounds stupid. Um, and that's very normal. So the same is with composing. Especially because there is extra pressure, of course, of the camera now. And I'm not recording the piece. Usually I would record the piece and I would put headphones and I would listen to the piece and I would then um, evaluate and think about what, how does it sound? Do I like it? Do I want to change something? Now I'm only playing, playing, playing. And keep in mind that, yes, I'm listening to it, but it's a very different story listening from a distance without playing than doing that. So we have at least something... For example, Elvira likes that because she's behind the camera and listening. But I'm not convinced. You know, I can very easily create something, just something. It's just I, yeah. That's I think it's also the doubts and the thoughts of like behind. Do I want that? Is that not too standard? Is that not to this? Is that not to that? And um, 
Yeah, it's terrible actually. You know what we're going to do before we end the video so it doesn't get too long? I'm going to add this standard thingy so I have something. piece but because Elvira said that she likes the this kind of thing I will just keep it but it's So we can um, keep it till here. For now, let's see how the whole thing sounds. like this but this is what um, came out from the video uh, today on camera again it is pretty pretty weird to be honest with you to compose on camera it's like the weirdest feeling and that's because I can write down something but I always compose I always approach things as when you when you do it do it really according to how you you like um, how you would really want it to sound I'm very curious if you would if you have enjoyed this video and um, if you do I will definitely I can definitely try to continue next time again on camera to see what, where the piece is going to go uh, don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you so much for being here and watching the video for me um, even though it was a pleasure it was also a challenge to record this video for you and I will see you or we will see you next week again.